Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I get a lot of people asking me how I get the Windows games that normally don't work on the Steam Deck Steam OS to work. You know, I think they want to know the thought process. You know, how do I know what dependencies are required? Okay, so today I'm going to install a game called Chronology and it was requested by a viewer 10 days ago. So just one, one viewer requested this game. So he doesn't have a name, it's just user ZW blah 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 all right so i asked him what was the issue with it and he said he not working use proton tricks to install some dependencies so i think it's a dependency issue all right and then he did say he did say that this game is a mix of puzzle platform and adventure where you defy time by manipulating the past and future i think he copied this from steam or something like that all right but it did get me a little bit curious about this game so first thing I normally do is I go to Google and I search the name of the game and Steam Deck, all right? And normally you'd see it's like Reddit like pages, forums, they, they talk about, you know, people can't get it to work. Uh, how, and if, it's, if it works, like people would tell you how to do it. But this one, like no one's talking about this game. So yeah, I'm not expecting a lot of views for this video because I think this game is not really that popular. But there is this um, in Steam community, all right? So early this year, someone did say, I cannot get this game to load on my Steam Deck. I tried all the protons, any suggestions? And this was in January, 2023, all right? And it got five comments. So yeah, not very popular, but um, no one has like got the answer yet. So the latest one was in May. I can't get this to launch on desktop Linux. So so that got me even more curious because no one has got this to work. All right. So what's the next step I normally do? I normally go to this website. I normally go to steamdb.info. Okay. And then I search for the game. So chronology. Okay. This is the game. And if you want to know what dependencies uh, it's required go here depots and here's the list of the dependencies that it needs so visual c all right 2010 direct x 2010 dot net 4.0 and open al 2.0.7.0 okay so dot net 4.0 i think is the issue because normally this doesn't um install on um, protons so i think that's why a lot of people can't get this game to work because they're using Proton and .NET 4.0. I don't. I've never like successfully installed it on Proton, uh, so that's why. All right. So since I know this is an issue, I'm not going to use um, Proton. So I'm not going to use Steam to install it. All right. So I'm going to use Lutris. If you don't know or don't have Lutris, go here to the Discover Store. Okay, and then search for Lutris, L-U-T-R-I-S, and this uh, orange beaver, install this, all right? So I already have it. So if you launch it, install it, this is what you get, all right? So go here to the top left corner. There's a plus sign. Click on it. It's add game. And then I'm going to select install a Windows game from an executable, okay? And then... Then uh, my game is here, all right? So I've got the game. It's an ISO format. So I've mounted it already. It's mounted here. So I mounted the ISO format. There's a setup exe inside. Okay, so I'm going to select that. So the game name, all right? First type the game name. Chronology. And then installer preset. I'm going to leave it at Windows 10, 64-bit. Locale system, all right? Just click install. And then click install again. And then select the installation directory. I'm going to leave it at default. So my default is home, deck, games, and then chronology. All right. And I'm going to select create Steam shortcut because I want to play this game on gaming mode as well. So I want the shortcut. All right. So continue. Okay. And then you've got to select the setup file. So I'm going to go to the mounted ISO and then select setup chronology 2.0.0.3.exe okay and then install okay just wait for it so it's going to create the prefix folder 
Okay, it's creating the prefix folder. Okay. All right, so the GOG setup is here. So I'm going to click yes, and then I'm going to check the options for the game. And I don't need the desktop icons. So it's going to install inside the C drive GOG games chronology. All right, so that's okay for me to so install. All right. So that's my whole um, thought process. So I think um, like every game is different, but um, you know, if you have the thought process, so if you, if there's a game that you want to install and you don't know how to do it on Steam Deck, like I think you might want to follow along with this thought process. But some games just don't work. Like don't expect every game to work. Some games that you know, require anti-cheat, you know, it's just it's not supported with Linux or maybe the Wine or Proton. It, it just doesn't support it. But there are some games that just don't work. Okay, so I'm installing the game. This is a rather small game, so it should be okay. Won't take too long. All right, now it's done. I'm not going to launch it, so I'm just going to exit. Okay, close. Okay, so the game's here. I'm going to go to configure it. I'm going to double check the exe, the executable. All right. So home deck games chronology. All right. And then in, in the C drive, GOG games chronology. And then it's directing to launch chronology dot link. All right. I think that's okay. But uh, I think I might want to use the exe. So go to home games chronology. Okay. So I installed it into C drive. GOG games chronology. Yeah, maybe I'll just point it to chronology.exe rather than the link. I think it's okay, but uh, yeah, just exe makes more sense for me. All right, and then runner options. Uh, I think wine GE is fine, but maybe I won't use the GE. I just use the normal wine. So system 8.0.2. This is a wine, just a, a vanilla wine. So yeah, I might just want to use this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure wine GE works too. Just don't select Proton. Proton is very like uh, I can't get um the .NET 4.0 working. Okay, so I think that's done. Save, save, and let's try to run it first. So play. All right, it's building the new uh wine prefix. All right, all right. So the game tried to load, but it couldn't load. All right. So what do I do? I'm going to check the dependencies. So I'm going to go here wine tricks okay i'm going to check if the prefix has the required dependencies that i need all right so let's minimize this okay so select the default wine prefix okay minimize this again got a lot of stuff okay so i'm going to go here run uninstaller okay okay so the game's installed and then I've got Visual C++ 2010. So that's installed, the dependency. Open AL. All right. So if you take a look, what I'm missing is I'm missing DirectX and I'm missing .NET 4.0. All right. All right. So there's two ways to install that. One, I could just click here, install. And if you already have the installation files, so let's say I have the .NET. So home deck i have it here downloads i have it so this is the dotnet 4.0 4 i have the offline installer this is one way to install it another way is just go here install a windows dll or component click ok and then i'm just going to select dotnet 4.0 all right and for direct x you could install um, DXVK. You click this. This is the DirectX 9, DirectX 10. You can select this one. You can select this. But I'm not going to do it this time because I know that the wine that I used, the 8.0.2, already has DirectX built in. So I don't really need to reinstall it. So I'm just going to install the .NET 4.0. Okay. Okay. Yes, and then you just click OK on these um, prompts. Okay, .NET, okay. 
just click OK. Let it do its thing. OK. It's going to take some time, I think. Normally I panic here because it's kind of weird for uh, wine, wine tricks, but because Proton Tricks, when it's installed, it brings you back to the the menu. But uh, wine tricks, sometimes it doesn't. It's just installed and you don't know if it's really installed. So I'm kind of panicking a little bit. So I'm just going to go and open wine tricks again. I'm not sure if that's a good thing to do, but yeah, you could wait. But um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to install. I'm just going to double check it. All right. So run uninstaller. All right. And now I can see that um, it's installed here. So Microsoft.NET Framework 4 Client Profile. 4.0.3 all right so it's installed so i think it's good i think we're good to go all right so let's try to run the game so play oh there you go so there you go that's the game running okay so the game works so yeah that's um uh, my whole thought process on how to get Once Windows games time, running on the Steam OS. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please Our leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next Our one. Later.